And we're here at the Journey's End Mobile Home Park that's next to Kaiser just to give you some perspective to show you how close the hospital came to catching fire. Kaiser staff members described the encroaching flames as a wall of fire that was next to the hospital. Around 3.30 Monday morning, they decided to evacuate its roughly 130 patients, including those in critical care like laboring and postpartum mothers. Each patient had to be quickly assessed to see if they needed a wheelchair or just simply someone to hold on to. Every patient had a staff member at their side as they exited the building, and they remained closely monitored as some were taken to nearby hospitals by bus, ambulance, or even some nurses' personal cars. This was the first time this hospital had to be evacuated, and all while the staff's own homes were possibly on fire. But really, everybody here was being impacted by the fire. Everybody. I mean, it's a frightening thing if you're worried about your own home or your families. But additionally, you have people who are watching this wall of fire right here and certainly had to be thinking about their own lives, but they just put that aside and they took care of the patients. In order to move back in, the fire has to be deemed contained and under control. Then all the systems have to be turned on, like the electricity and water. After that, they have to wait up to 48 hours in order to test those systems and make sure nothing was damaged. Best case scenario, the hospital can reopen on Friday, but that's coming from Dr. Weil, who said he was purely speculating and remaining hopeful. So after the city and county come in, tell them that it's okay to turn the systems back on. And after all of those systems go through testing and those test results come back okay, that's when the state's Department of Public Health comes in and then deems when the hospital can take patients once again. In Santa Rosa, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.